Greetings everyone, I am Dr. Wolf here at a little sweet shop called Poppin' Sweets where they sell pretty much all the various kind of candies you could ever really want, along with a very wide variety of sodas. But I'm actually here with a number of the BYU Bronies because they are trying to promote Crystal Mountain PonyCon later this year. And it's pretty much being headed up by David, who I have known for a number of years. Do right. you want to introduce yourself, David? Of course. Uh, my name is David Halliday. I am the chair of Crystal Mountain PonyCon. This will be our sixth year running, and this year we'll be down here in beautiful Provo, Utah, right next to the Glorious Mountains. Uh, what we're doing is every month we're trying to have an activity where people can come out, and even if they don't want to spend money, they can just have a good time being around fellow bronies to do something fun. So every month we get to a Panda Express. Last time we were at a Panda Express in Salt Lake City. This time we have a Panda Express down here over in Provo and right across the street. I happen to be friends with the people who ran this Pop and Sweets. I was here when they opened it six, seven years ago and I asked them for a, spot, a little fundraiser opportunity and so here we are. So anyone who popped in today uh, and said PonyCon would be able to get 15% of their purchase back to our convention, which we appreciate a lot. And so we had Pan Express going on, we have Pop and Sweets going on here with all the various candies and sodas, and then we also have our friends over here. I'd like to introduce you to someone who is very talented. Her name is Kate Jarman Gates. She does an incredible job with anything artistic that CNBC has to do. And she actually has her own business called The Clever Cucumber and this brand, Speak Your Geek, which right now she is doing a benefit um, glitter tattoo fest. So whether you like ponies or other things in pop culture, you can come on over, pay her, and she will give you a glitter tattoo like I got this one from Supernatural. My fiance loves Supernatural, so I thought I'd pay tribute to her fandom. She got a Fluttershy tattoo, so you know, that's how a good relationship works, compromise. Yeah. And so we will be here until about eight o'clock tonight doing glitter tattoos. Right now it's the low because we're in between uh, lunch and dinner. But you can see over here we got some fun people. We got our friend over here who runs our PR. Say hello, Brandon. How's it going? That's the guy who's doing most of the posting on uh, Facebook and leading all the Instagram, Twitter, whatever things that are up there. And Anything then, about the con on the internet, that's probably me. So. Yeah. And then many of you may also notice the Looney Turtle. Hey, Looney, you want to say hi? I got my hat. That's nice. I'm glad to see that. <laughs> and then where did the bee fish go? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's all right. And then the, the talented bee fish is also here. So that's there you go. And uh, of course, uh, there's also bowling right behind us at Fat Cats for 99 cents, which I thought, oh, that's, that's fun. So if anyone wanted to come down, eat some food, get some candy, and then go bowling, it's sure to be a fun time. And the BYU Bronies also have themselves a screening, a free screening, by the way, of the My Little Pony movie up at the BYU campus. So I think that's where a fair amount of people went off to go hang out with friends and watch a movie. Yeah. So yeah, it's a great time, and we're hoping people join us for all these activities. We have two more, one more July 21st. We're still determining the event somewhere between here and Salt Lake City, and then one more right before the convention, probably Thursday, right back here in Provo. Yeah. Oh, there's Bee Fish. Yeah. Hey, we found Hello there. there. <laughs> I have been attending Crystal Mountain PonyCon every year since 2013. And that was actually about a month and a half before I started posting videos on YouTube. So, yeah, that was before I had any kind of presence in the community whatsoever. It was my very first convention I ever attended. So, yeah, it was kind of a baptism by fire, if you want to put it like that. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing. I had no one that I really knew. But I was curious. I wanted to uh, put myself out there and I wanted to see what other people in the community were like, what they were interested in. And I'm glad that the convention has grown so much over these past six years. And we are also very appreciative for the efforts done by Dr. Wolf, as well as the many other analysts, including uh, Josh Scorcher, Silver Quill, who for the past three, now four years, have come out on their own dime to see all the passionate fans out here and people who cosplay as them. There are a lot of people here who really love the analysts and we love the analysts too because they were here before we were even a convention that had My Little Pony Guess. Yeah. But 
I'm looking forward to this year and I'm hoping that they can raise enough money to make this a regular thing down in the Provo area because I've always wanted them to be much more local. I've always had to travel up to Salt Lake or even much further north. But we'll see how that turns out. I hope many more people can join us here in Utah in Provo this year. And until next time, I am Dr. Wolf and I look forward to hearing from you.